this. Uh, we've got a soundbite from uh, George Stephanopoulos, who spent two days with the little, president. Little Georgie, we call him. Yeah. Well, here, here's the deal. If uh, he asked the president a hypothetical question, if somebody from uh, another foreign power had some dirt on somebody, what would you do? And here's what the president said. Your campaign this time around, if foreigners, if Russia, if China, if someone else offers you information on an opponent, should they accept it or should they call the FBI? I think maybe you do both. I think you might want to listen. I don't, there's nothing wrong with listening. If somebody called from a country, Norway, we have information on your opponent. Oh, I think I'd want to hear it. You want that kind of interference in our elections? It's not an interference. They have information. I think I'd take it. If I thought there was something wrong, I'd go maybe to the FBI if I thought there was something wrong. But when somebody comes up with oppo research, right, they come up with oppo research. Oh, let's call the FBI. The FBI doesn't have enough agents to take care of it. But you go and talk honestly to congressmen. They all do it. They always have. And that's the way it is. It's called oppo research. So, and so is the president right or wrong on that? This was the greatest setup that Donald Trump has ever made. Because all, you know, I call them the media mob, right? They're just, they've lied to us for two years, conspiracy theories, hoax. So Donald Trump, if you're outraged in the media over that, well, I might want to listen, listen is what he said, and then maybe report to the FBI. <clears throat> If you're outraged over that, how could you not be outraged? Hillary Clinton literally empowered a foreign agent who well, produced a Russian a, a dossier full of Russian lies that was used to infiltrate our electoral process, first by influencing the American people, but more importantly... Using then, a British spy. They used a British foreign national to spy... It's full of Russian lies. It was never verified. They used it then to spy on Americans, and hence Carter Page. So, they got so into Sean, the Trump campaign. are you campaign. saying what's the difference? No, I'm saying that it's far worse what Hillary Clinton did, and they show no outrage in this fake media environment we live in. And Trump, if you got outraged over him saying, I'll listen and maybe tell the FBI, why don't you get outraged about the woman that paid for the Russian lies and used it right. as a means of trying to destroy Donald Trump and steal the election? But but would, would you also say, Sean, that the better answer for the president would have been, listen, I'm not taking Russian or, or Chinese or any outside influence uh, because I don't need it. And well, it's and it shouldn't. We don't want Brian, what is wrong, country. Infiltrated. What is wrong with listening to what they have to say? I, I don't think you, you should be listening to what China has to oh, say really? about your Why not? opponent. What about Norway? That's a foreign. You want them. What about Norway? Norway? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, listen, you when you listen, you might learn something or you might learn something that you share with the FBI, as the president said. And I'm a believer, look, if I ever was the president of the United States, I'd talk to Putin, I know he's a hostile actor. I'd talk to the Iranians, I wouldn't give them $150 billion like Biden and Obama, but I'd talk to them and probably tell them, if you ever make the wrong move, this is what's gonna happen. Right. Um, but if they, sure could, they said, hey, I know you're running against uh, John Kerry, and let me just tell you what John Kerry did. Okay, it's either that's true okay? or false, and you have to determine if it's true or false. If it's true, boom, you just got a big favor. Is that okay? Sure, it's okay. What's, when did talking go wrong? It's, look, if you set up and you buy, this is what's so nefarious about Hillary. She literally funnels money to, from her campaign and the DNC money that she's controlling to a law firm so it shows up as a law expense. That's a campaign finance violation. Then they hire an op research firm, Fusion GPS. Fusion GPS hires a foreign national, which I thought shouldn't happen in the country. Then he produces a dossier, what's known as a dossier, that even in his own interrogatory in Great Britain doesn't stand by. He literally says, oh, I have no idea if any of this is true. They leak it through Clapper Brennan to news outlets like David Korn, The Washington Post, and Michael Isikoff. So that tries, they try to use it to impact the election. And they write a book, The Russian Roulette. Right, you're right. And then Comey comes in, doesn't verify it because it's unverifiable, uses it to destroy the civil liberties of one individual, but even worse, they have a backdoor into everything. All Trump campaign, then with the renewal, Trump transition, and then after the guy becomes president, they're spying on the president of the United States of America. They did it before, they did it after, and there were other ways they were spying. Stefan Helper, literally, 
They had a blonde yeah. bombshell setting up George you, Papadopoulos. You can't write this in a Bond movie. You mentioned the money that they funneled mm -hmm. to Iran, they gave to Iran, Obama and Biden. Oh, Biden mm -hmm. is saying they were scandal free. They did nothing wrong. No scandal. Hillary Clinton emails. <laughs> Benghazi, IRS, Lois Lerner. Fast and furious. Um, Wait, do you disagree with Joe Biden? Uh, well, I, the president calls him sleepy. I call him creepy. <laughs> so it's sleepy, creepy, and he is nuts. So I call him sleepy, creepy, crazy. Uncle Joe. Right. Everyone, doesn't it, we all have an Uncle Joe. Right. You go to a wedding. This but is, we don't want him to be president. No, right? uh, Uncle Joe is the guy at the fourth hour of the wedding has his tie around his neck and is dancing to celebrate good times. Come on, that's the guy. That was my junior prom theme song. I'm a little insulted by oh, that. Really? Yes, it was. Hey, I Sean. thought it was going to be your wedding song. Uh, <laughs> Sean, can you stick around? Oh, I have so many plans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.